Kirk Albro, and I'm Regional General Manager for Europe and Americas. Kirk, you have just opened a new first-class lounge at Abu Dhabi Airport. What other developments are you promoting here at ITB? Well, the new first-class lounge is actually a, a, not only a first-class lounge, it's a first for Etihad. It's a, a lounge product that offers the opportunity to dine on the ground, uh, as well as a spa facility and TV rooms, lots of entertainment and places to relax or do business. Uh, in the future, in the next few months, we'll be opening up a new terminal uh, uh, next door to our existing facility at Abu Dhabi. So we're promoting that in terms of it's a unique Etihad terminal. It will have dedicated gates. And within that environment, there will be uh, new lounge facilities for both our first and business class guests. You have recently won a World Travel Award. What does that mean to you? It's very important to us. Uh, we've been associated with the World Travel Awards for several years now, and we were honoured to be named the world's leading new airline. In fact, three years on, uh, on the trot, uh, which was a great uh, honour that we were very proud of. Since then, we've been awarded the world's leading flatbed seat in business class, and most recently, uh, to win the TV commercial award is a great honour. It means, it means a lot to us, and, and we're very proud to, to mention it whenever we can. Now we can see a race car in the background. How exactly are you involved in the whole Formula One topic, you can say? Okay, well, uh, Abu Dhabi uh, is actually hosting its first Grand Prix in 2009. And recently we announced our sponsorship of that Grand Prix, which will actually be the Etihad Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. It's going to be on Yas Island, which is an island within Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi is made up of its capital city and numerous other islands. And this one's being developed with a, again, unique uh, element when it comes to Formula One racing. It'll be part town track and part open race track. So very different, and we're looking forward to that in 2009, hence the sponsorship with the car. And now we're here in Berlin. How important is the German market or the European market? Well, uh, in general, uh, Germany in particular, we're very focused on Frankfurt and Munich. Uh, where we have offices in, in both locations and operations from both. We fly a daily service out of Munich, which connects to numerous destinations in the Far East as well as within the Middle East and the Indian subcontinent. And from Frankfurt, we've recently expanded from a daily operation to 10 flights a week, and we're looking at double daily operation in the very near future. So it's an extremely important market to us. How do shows like ITB benefit your company? Well, ITB, I think, is really up there with a, as one of the top three shows globally, let alone within Europe and my region. It's, uh, it's a show where everybody needs to be here, and therefore us being here means that we have the right people, the right network to work with, key guests, suppliers, and, and building business. It's a terrific show. And where do you see the company in five years? Well, Etihad now is only four. Uh, years old, uh, so you're talking about nine years from now. We're very proud to say that within four years we've got to 45 destinations and a fleet uh, the size that it is that's taken others in the region perhaps eight, nine years and if not longer to get to that size. We're looking to announce shortly our next plans for a new fleet purchase and we'll be expanding through the next five years to many more destinations around the world. But we'll be announcing something very soon.